dashboard the other day. He has 420 visuals on him. He can't figure out why it's loading slowly. So you took over your friend's project, and now that you've looked it over, you wonder if they're still technically called quick measures because they're so slow. When you tell all your customers you'll be offline this week for MBAS, and damned if they aren't all in the audience today. <laughs> the docs try to tell you publishing web shouldn't be used for sensitive data, but you're only going to put payroll reports on the internet, so that should be okay, right? <laughs> so your customer wants to do that thing the Cube guy showed off last week, but their IT team only updates the desktop once every six months, and they block Windows Store for security reasons, and this is why you still drink. <laughs> Report data is in Excel on OneDrive. Get data Excel file on OneDrive, but when you publish the report and service, you need a gateway to get your C drive. <laughs> you need to question your life choices when you're working where 90% of the developers on your team have a stuffed animal named after some Power BI feature. <laughs> <laughs> you told your customer you could refresh their model in 15 minutes, and then he tells you the data warehouse was a single 100 terabyte CSV file. <laughs> Dashboard, dear. Quick Insights clock up, mobile marmot. You wore your Power BI t-shirt to the local tableau meetup just to see you would throw down a bit and agree to a bake-off. <laughs> Dataflow's dog, workspace wallaby, auto ML hardware, a premium panda. Analyst comes up to you ask, how can he add many to many relationships? And you look at his model and it's just one table with 400 columns. <laughs> <laughs> Productivity capybara, report rabbit. Seriously, is everyone still six? There's only one bear. <laughs> so you're trying to use DAX, and there's not a quick measure that does what you need. So you end up just using Excel functions and VLOOKUP. <laughs> it's bad enough that all your team's reports need to have the same colors and stuff, and then you need to work with some new guy named JSON. <laughs> When you really want support for small multiples and reports, but you're pretty sure the Power BI team will implement them until Matt Ellington asks personally. <laughs> <laughs> Customer complains that they can't connect to Salesforce on the machine with no internet access, and you want to explain things to the guy, but who has time for that? So you install the June desktop release and discover there isn't a dark theme, and you swear you're going to start screaming. <laughs> You're out with industry types, and the Tableau sales guy across the table says he's never heard of Power BI, and you're glad you've been hitting the gym more than usually lately because things are getting real tonight. <laughs> Customer complains the report numbers are inconsistent if they refresh while their data warehouse is still being loaded, and it makes you question the career decisions that brought you here. You spend a week finding the right visuals to tell a data story, and your boss only asks if the charts come in cornflower blue. <laughs> you saw a presenter using Zoomit during your demos, but you're going to use it so you can read the default font in Power BI Desktop. <laughs> You've been tweeting come early 50 times a day for the last week, but people are still coming in now when the introduction is over. <laughs> Get a pattern, let's get at it.